In the days I have not recorded Mega Man X, Spark Manjul knew that he fucked up. Hey guys, welcome back to more Mega Man X. Uh, when we last left off, we beat Chill Penguin, or was it? No, we actually beat we actually beat Flame Mammoth and got a bunch of upgrades from his stage. And I got one of the hardest jumps in this game done in like three tries, which is really, really cool in my opinion. Because a lot of people don't know how to get that jump right when they get it. It's like a miracle. But you know what? At least it's not that jump in X2. Oh man. Oh man. Bad memories with that. But anyways guys, I've been uh, busy for these past couple of weeks. My graduation is coming up so I'm probably going to be more busy for the rest of May. I only got the slight chance to record some uh, footage for this game so whatever. I'm going to take the opportunity now to get some footage recorded. You know, before shit hits the fan. But other than that, let's get into Spark Mandrill because he's next on the weakness chart list and the hit list, I should say. Let's just call him call it the Mega Man hit list. He's on the Mega Man X hit list right now, so let's go. Any day now. Oh yeah, I always forget it's that goddamn button. This stage, uh, Spark Manual stage, is one of those stages that is affected by whether or not you went in a certain order with the uh, Maverick bosses. Excuse me, if I sound funny, I just woke up from sleep, so I'm still sort of trying to wake up here. Uh, if we go down this ladder, there's an upgrade, but we cannot get it at this current time. We have to wait until we come uh, back with an upgrade. So we're just going to climb up here and fight this dude shooting missiles at us. God damn, those guys are bulky. But yeah, you see the lights are going on and off here in the Sparks Manual stage because we, uh, I think we defeated Storm Eagle or somebody. I don't know who causes, uh, which boss causes this uh, electrical plant to go dark dim like this every now and then. But yeah, this is one of the parts of the stage that kind of gets on my nerves because you can easily die here if you fuck up the jump. Because of these dudes, those little waves, those moon, crescent moon guys that like to show up like that. Because they can easily fuck up your jump and you'll just die because you fall into a pit because they hit you and they messed up your jump. Which really annoys me. Like that. Just make sure you just grab onto the wall as quickly as you can before you uh, hit, the, hit the bottom and you should be fine. Oh, they can shoot straight forward, okay. I always thought they shot, uh, shot down. Huh. Oh well. Anyways, coming up here, we have to make sure you have Storm Tornado charged up. All the way. Oh, the boss already fucking started. There you go. Just charge up Storm Tornado all the way into pink so you have his, uh, surrounding tornado move and that will do a shit ton of damage like that that boss normally takes a long time to beat but with a uh, storm tornadoes uh, charge move it, it it just goes down like in mere seconds it's ridiculous how much it goes down I just realized I'm running out of health really quickly I should really stop getting hit like that probably stop wasting weapon energy too because we're gonna need oh wait oh yeah I forgot they each got their own individual weapon energy right oh these guys I hate these guys because they respawn super fast and all they do is just rush uh, forward look at that Oop. there we go Realistically, all you have, unless you get Storm Tornado, you can just use this weapon throughout the rest of the game. You'll be fine. These guys, uh, the little turtle dudes, they like to shoot like little uh, torpedoes that, that fly down at you from little, uh, from these uh, little parachutes. Just don't stand in one place for too long, because their hitbox is pretty huge and they can hit you when you think that they didn't hit you, so 
Just don't don't stand still when you're around them. Just take them out. Use Storm Tornado. Use a Charge Dot. That's preemptively loaded. You know. Up here is another Heart Tank, but you would normally have to come back here, just like the other uh, upgrade that's in this level. You would have to come back here with a different uh, uh, special special weapon. Since we don't have that special weapon yet, we, we normally shouldn't be able to get this, but me, me, and I don't like doing shit in order, um, I'm going to get this uptake anyway. All you really gotta do is dash jump. Dash jump around it. It, it. it shouldn't take that long to do. I say that as I'm fucking up continuously. Oh, almost out of there. It's because I'm talking at the same time. Let me be quiet so I can concentrate and get this. There we go. But yeah, you're normally supposed to get another weapon and come back and get that hard tank. But, I don't like to do that. And a lot of people think it's just easier just to jump for it. Alright, let me change back to normal Mega Man. Had enough of Storm Tornado for today. And see, see, look, see how they blindside you like that? It just comes so fucking fast. Ooh, shit. And once you get past that little section, you're basically good. If I can get this dude, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna bother. Wow, Mega Man. Get some hops in your step, nigga. Oh my god. Really? Okay. Wow, uh... I just practiced stage earlier and this wasn't happening. There you go. God, what the hell's wrong with me? Anyways, for Spark Manual, you need to uh, have ice, uh, shotgun ice equipped before you go in there. Because that is his weakness. And we're going to see how laughably easy Spark Manual is with uh, ice shotgun. Or shotgun ice. I, I don't know. I always like to call it ice shotgun. Because shotgun ice sounds retarded. Let's be honest here. Hello, Spark Manual. I'm going to put my hands in the air and... Oop. Yeah, I'ma put my hands in the air in. Ugh, I'ma put my hands in the air in. Swing on the monkey bars and also get froze. I'ma put my hands in the air in. Freeze. Freeze, son of a bitch. Put my hands in the air in. Yeah. And Spark Mandrel is down for the count. Really not a difficult stage. The only tricky part of that stage is getting past uh, the part, the platforming parts where the bottomless pits. And when it darkens, you know, those guys, the Crescent Moonbirds, can just uh, blindside you and make you fall into the pit while you're jumping. But other than that, Spark Mandrel with his weakness, uh, not that big of a deal. We got the... I don't even know what the thing, damn thing said. I didn't read it. Oops. Anyway, but we got his special weapon. So, the whole thing with Spark Mandrel is, if you keep like shooting him with the shotgun ice at a specific moment, or at a specific moment before, after he puts his hands up, then that's your like one time window to shoot him before he does his next attack. Because if you just stand there spamming the ice shot, uh, shotgun ice, it's not really going to do damage to him. You have to wait until he puts his arms up. For, uh, before he does an attack to shoot him and freeze him again. That's why I always say, put my hands in the air and- oh. Yeah. That's my whole theme with Sprite Man Drill. But anyways guys, next time on Mega Man X, we are going to... I need to remember the order here. I believe we are going to... Armored Armadillo. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun stage. So, see you guys next time.